You hear that concept or that idea, that phrase all the time, find yourself, find yourself. Well, like, what if you never lost yourself, you know? Evan Tanner wrote, I plan on going so deep into the desert that any failure of my equipment could cost me my life. Maybe it's delusions of grandeur. I don't know. I have this idea, though, that I need to, I need to be able to make my voice heard. Maybe it was just an accident, but a lot of people believe that he put himself in that situation with the intentions of not coming back. When people would talk about suicide and all this, I said, no, he had plans, and it just all went bad at the same time. You have to lose yourself to find yourself, you know, and in losing everything, you find the things that really matter. The biggest fight of Evan Tanner's life. To determine who will leave the octagon tonight as the middleweight champion of the world. Had a legendary loss to Tito. That was pretty much one of his worst moments. Great medical staff here right now, attending to Evan Tanner. When Evan rolled into Oregon, he had literally just loaded up his truck and, and drove up. We didn't know he was coming. He had no place to stay. He rolled into Team Quest and, and wanted to know if he could join the team. Evan was a good fit. He was always introverted, always kind of shy. He just had such an easygoing manner about him. You know, most introverts are going to have a lot harder time making friends. And his sports background helped a lot, you know, made him approachable. We welcomed him in. He stayed with me for the first three weeks in my house. I had a guest bedroom, it wasn't a problem, wasn't an issue, but he was just so uncomfortable kind of being in this social setting with my wife and, and you know, my daughter was living with me at the time and it was very socially awkward. Eventually, it kind of made him the security guard at Team Quest. Slept in a little trailer out in the back parking lot, make sure nobody was breaking into the car lot and so it kind of worked. Everywhere he went, he was carrying around Moby Dick or these leather-bound, gold-embossed books. And that's all he did was read all these classic novels all day long. He would read anything from Siddhartha to the Kama Sutra to Dr. Seuss, which is not a joke. He had a gym bag that he carried with him. He brought to practice every day. And, and in that gym bag was this notebook. And it was Jean LaBelle's encyclopedia of finishing holds. And he would go through that thing. and visualize and study finishing holds from that book, and then he would try them in practice. I mean, that's just uh, unheard of. Also, he learned jujitsu watching tapes. That goes beyond athleticism. I mean, the intellectual capacity to pick up jujitsu from a VCR is insane. went out there, man, and no one expected him to do what he did, and, and that was part of his toughness, man. That guy, I think a lot of people got in the cage with him and did not realize you could beat on him, beat on him, and he would not go away. He would still be there. Robbie Lawler with a big takedown. And the triangles. Robbie Lawler's in trouble, folks. There he is. It's all over. It is all over. I've paid my dues. I've spent my time. Uh, you know, it's, it's, this is gonna be my day in the sun. You know, it's, I, I, I deserve this. This fight is for the UFC Middleweight Championship of the World! It's deep in there too, man. That's deep under the neck, this might be it! Can he out? He's out!
I think when he won the belt, he, he was elated. We saw him celebrate, put his hands up. I mean, he wasn't that kind of guy. Those types of things didn't come out of him a lot. I think he definitely realized and recognized what he had accomplished and what a long shot that was for, for the road that he'd come down. But Evan, he had some severe demons that got in the way. September 8th was a Monday, and a friend of mine that went to high school with Evan and I called me, hey, have you heard from Evan? And I said, well, no, I heard from him on Wednesday. Why do you ask? And she immediately says, go on CNN right now. And uh, 